racecar boy 93 with you for another diecast review this time on kyle bush's 18 snickers crisper car from the 2017 monster energy cup series monster energy cup series and this is another diecast review uh these cars are only at fanatics right now should be coming out in the next week or so uh to your local diecast dealers because fanatics always gets like a head start on all the products. All that that glared a lot. So you can kind of see the Snickers Crisper logo there. Um, I'm not a big fan of this. This random Snickers logo. Uh, kind of just wrapping around the car. Not a big fan of that. Really haven't been a big fan of that. Um, and it's also, it doesn't look like it is the Snickers logo. There's like a bite out of it. So that's kind of weird. Um, oh, and there's a huge chip in the side. Cool. That's why you don't buy from Fanatics, kids. Anyways, let's look at the box real quick. So it's just standard Kyle Busch box. Kyle Busch, Joe Gibbs Racing, ages 4 and up. Barcode showing that I overpaid for this. NASCAR, ages 4 and up. Gold Series, Action Racing Collectibles, still the choice of champions. All of your licensing stuff. Lionel Racing, RCCA Elite. The little stamp number to tell you what mold it is. Handcrafted in China. And then the Mars branding. And that branding does not appear on the front face of the box this year. And the top has the Action 25 years, the NASCAR barcode, and the warning that this car contains a choking hazard. I want to see a video of someone demonstrating how you can choke on it, like how a little kid can choke on this car. Like just like trying to eat it. That'd be good. That would be good. Anyways. And then Kyle Busch, 18 Snickers Crisper, 2018 Camry model, but a 2017 race car Camry, limited edition, uh, that weird number that tells you what inventory code or something is, and then it's a 164 scale stock car, if you didn't know. Cow Bush, I don't remember what race he drove this car in. It wasn't Kentucky, at Kentucky he ran like a, he want, ran like a brown one that had Rowdy on the side. Because, like, Snickers has, like, now Snickers has the bars, and they have the different, like, names, and, or they have different, like, emotions on them. Which I think is kind of cool. Um, and his car had Rowdy. I think it's kind of cool, and they incorporate the drivers into the paint schemes. But anyways, another nice paint scheme for Kyle Busch, and another nice die cast. So here we go. Uh, on the front, Camry, all the new Camry decals, side pods, um, and then you see a little bubble kind of overlap in the paint there. Um... Focus, come on. And then also the side contingencies. This is like the best way to do this. So on the left you have all the regular contingencies. NASCAR race car, the new logo. On the bottom, if you can see that brown script at the bottom, it says Crispy Satisfaction, 18. And then I'm going to go left to right for those contingencies, starting at the top with Interstate Batteries, Freightliner, Doosan, Mac Tools, Cessna, which is a new sponsor on there. Uh, Simon, Seedman, I don't know. Lincoln Welders, and then I don't know what that little one is. Some kind of, it looks like a globe. And then Sherwin-Williams. Kyle Busch's signature is up there on the name rail. And then you have Toyota, Joe Gibbs Racing. Focus. Because I can't see. Toyota, Joe Gibbs Racing. Um, Snickers, Twix, Skittles, Pedigree. And then Milky Way is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure. There might be M&Ms on there too, though. Um, anyway, Stanley on the seat post. It's this huge Snicker. It's crisper on the quarter panels. And then Interstate Batteries on the back panel. And then the American Ethanol um, logo. On the back, it has Snickers crisper. And then Kroger. Toyota. And then the 18, and then the new Camry decals. The back little light, Camry, and Toyota. On the deck lid, we have the Snickers Crisper logo. Kyle Busch on the back name rail. 18, and then Crispy Satisfaction on there. Which it seems like on, some, on Kyle's cars, they're putting like catchphrases on the roof. Which is kind of cool, I guess, for the companies. And then the other side is the same as the last. I really kind of like this blue. 
it, it's an interesting choice. Um, because it's not the Snickers, like the Snickers logo blue. Which is kind of cool, and then it has like the, like a darker shade kind of incorporated in, in like a design. And then also there's a huge blue spot on the front of the car, I didn't say. Um, where like the brown kind of isn't right there in the middle. You can kind of, yeah, you can see it. Um, I like this car. It's a pretty good one. Um, nothing to write home about. I think if you're going to get any of the Kyle Busch cars that have come out so far, this would be on the bottom of the list. It's also got the new spoiler. Forgot to mention. Spoiler alert. Get it? Because it's a spoiler. Um. However, it's a really cool looking car. Um, so if you're the collector that just likes to collect really nice paint schemes, I think this is one that you get. Um, but I think all Kyle Busch's cars you get, because Kyle Busch runs some of the best paint schemes in the entire Monster Energy Cup series. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, and what it was, I guess. Um, it's a pretty nice diecast car. Again, I love the Toyota mold. It's a great mold. Um, just kind of disappointed with the timing of it. Anyways, Race Car Boy 93, I'm going to sign out, and I'll see you in the next diecast review. Have a great day, and thank you.